Hello everybody, it's Ty, welcome back to another video on my channel, welcome to Ty Talks United. The way this video goes, or I don't want to call it, it's not a series, the way this idea goes is basically I talk about United, Manchester United that is, and I talk about their upcoming game, I talk about the team, like with injuries and stuff, like team news and all that stuff, or whatever, and then I talk about the predicted lineup, like what I think the manager's lineup would be and what my lineup would be. And I'll talk a bit about the team that we're playing against as well, and then I'll give you my prediction, and then that's it, really. So, the first preview is against uh, Chelsea. I'm really excited for that game. First game of the season. So hyped. Hyped. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait for that game. I think, my, I think it's, gonna, it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy. Yo, Ch versus Chelsea is never easy. Well, yeah, up against a big team like that, it's never, it's never easy. But uh, Chelsea do have a weaker team because of Los Hazard and a lot a lot of people think Chelsea are like a team to they think Chelsea is just like a, a work in the park now that Hazard's gone and I do I do not I d I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm not gonna say anything on anyone because you haven't seen anyone play. Yes you've got you've got pre season but you haven't seen anyone play so you can't judge them because the, the league hasn't even kicked up yet. So you can't really judge a team if you haven't seen them play. And I think I think after like ten games, then maybe you can start. Well, obviously, you can judge a team based on the form because ten games is a lot of games. Whereas five games, I don't think it's enough to start judging the teams to start pointing fingers at players and saying who's a flop and who's a who's a best in the world and who's a one season wonder and all that stuff like that. Nah, 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 nah. So I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, hopefully it's gonna be a good game. I I just have my prediction now. In fact, no, actually. So. I want to compare the team, so I think we've got a better goalkeeper, I think we've got a better defence, Chelsea have a lot, a lot better midfield, their midfield is sick, yeah it's, it's good, very good, Jorginho, Kovacic and Kante, great players, great midfield, whereas our midfield is lacking, Matic is trash, Pogba is inconsistent, McTominay, don't know, Pereira, don't know, Fred, don't know, question mark and all those three, I think we need to step up, we need to step up, we had a Horrible transfer window. I mean, we, we improved our defense. That's good. But I thought like we should have bought even a left. We should have bought a left back as well. But that that wasn't a priority. Our priority was a midfielder. I, I really wanted Bruno Fernandez, but that, that didn't happen. So we're gonna have to play with what we've got. And obviously we saw the car coach into, and we needed a striker and in place and in, in uh, to replace him. But I think I think we you still can loan players. Uh, free agents stuff like that. I think I think that's how it works now because transfer window is closed. But for other teams like in Italy and Spain, I think it's still open. So you can loan free agents. I think so. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't quote me on that. But I think I might be wrong. But I'm afraid it's trash. It's so bad. So hopefully we win. I'm praying that we win. And hopefully it's a good performance as well. I'm not going to be too frustrated if I lose. I know it's against Chelsea in their rival club, but it's the first game, and our first two games are against Chelsea and Wolves. Wolves, great season last season. We lost to them last season as well, 2-1. They were also, Wolves have brought in a lot of good players as well. So, well, I don't, I don't know really, but they've brought in a few new faces. So, I'm really happy with, I'm, I'm happy that, that our defence is like strengthened, and I'm glad that De Gea can, you know, rely on the defence this time, whereas last season, we were, we were relying on him a lot and I, I'm guessing that's kind of, he, he couldn't handle all the pressure and stuff like that and obviously he made a lot of mistakes which caught him with turning and like that but hopefully I'm praying that he doesn't make any mistakes but everyone can, every, like I said everyone makes mistakes so yeah I, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm excited for the game but at the same time as much as I want to Criticize Chelsea and say the trash and say the nothing was at Hazard. I don't want to say anything because, like I said, it's too early. So, my lineup for this game. Well, no, sorry. The lineup I think uh, I don't even know Solskjaer, which well, Solskjaer would choose is on the screen right now. So I think he'll go with De Gea. I think he'll go with uh, Wambasaka, Maguire, Lindelof, Shaw, back four, back five, should I say? And then midfield, I think he would go with Matic, uh, transfer midfield role, and then Pogba if he's not injured. I think he's, I don't know if he's injured or not, but if he's not injured, then Pogba, and then K 
Cam will be Mata, and then right wing will be Lingard, striker Rashford, and left back would be Martial. Oh, also, breaking news, Martial back, got his number back, number nine, gas. So happy, so glad for him, so, so happy that he got number nine back. So, yeah. So, my prediction lineup is on the screen as well. So, I've got him with the same back four, back five, should I say. De Gea, Wimbasaka, Maguire, Lindelof, and Shaw. And then, midfield three, I've gone with McTominay, Pogba, and Lingard in Cam. And then, front three, I've gone with Rafa Striker, Martial, left wing, Greenwood, right wing. I can't wait to see. I really, really hope Greenwood like plays a lot, a lot of games this season because he's so good. Only 17 as well. I mean, I I feel like at the same time I hope he does really well. But then again, I don't want him to be dashed into the team so quickly like Rashford was because then everyone will start criticizing him and then I don't I don't know I don't know. I just hope he does really well. Also, I wouldn't mind Gomez and Cam as well. Even him or Lingard and Cam. I don't I don't I don't mind that at all. So, my prediction for this game is going to be 1 0 to United. It's going to be, I, I, was, I wasn't going to predict a high scoring game. It could be what? Uh, well, I'm going 1 0. I'm going with 1 0 one, 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 scoreline. And hopefully, hopefully we win. But I also, I don't want it to be like a dead, a, a dead, um, I don't want it to be a dead first game. I don't want it to be that. So, hopefully, we can get the win and hopefully we can have a good season. I really hope we do have a good season. I, I didn't do my Premier League predictions, but I'm going to say, for my club, I think we'll finish fifth. We didn't get the signings we wanted, which is a shame. I think if we did, then obviously we would have pushed for top four, but I don't think, I really don't think we're going to get top four. I'd be really happy if we do, but I don't think that's going to be the case. With, uh, I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm really happy with the signings actually though, despite it was not getting that midfielder that we needed. The sign I'm ha most happy about is Ron Basaka. I, th I think he's a great, great centre back. I was saying when United play Crystal Palace, I was like, oh, well, who's this, who's this right back? He's so good, because he was everywhere. He was everywhere. And even pre-season, I know it's pre-season, doesn't mean much, but he was so good in pre-season as well. And then Maguire, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I think he's overrated, but I back him because he's a United player, and I, he, he's, he's better than Smalley, he's better than Jones, Rojo, and he makes our defence even stronger. So I'm glad that he, I'm glad that he's joined the club. So I might, might as well back him because he's a United player now. So yeah, I'm excited to see how he plays. And then Daniel James, I think he's a, he's a nice, decent little player. And um, hopefully he improves at the club. And I can't wait to see him play more and more. And hopefully he gains confidence as well. We've got a few players that have questioned myself in the head, you know. Because you've got Sanchez, you've got Rashford, you've got Lingard, Martial, Pogba, and a lot of the, a lot more other players that just need to improve. Last season, the, they had good spells, but then they just dipped. After, after the after the PSG game, everyone just flopped. Everyone lost it. Everyone lost their heads and just started playing crap. So we need to everyone everyone we need to get on board and they need to start playing, they like give it 100% because there's some players that give 100% and the rest don't show it. So I'm hoping that the whole team can play together as a unit and just boss the game because last season we had so, like under Mourinho, right, we had, we, in fact, nah, scrap that, scrap that. So what we do is basically last season we got in front and then we got in front again and we need we can't cut off a game we haven't done that in ages we need to learn how to cut off a game we need to be more clinical in in uh, finish it when, when it comes to finishing and uh, more creative when it comes to creative chances obviously so we need to give 110 percent when it in every single game so I'm hoping that we have a good season and hoping that I can prove me wrong I'm ho I'm hoping that I'm hoping that we get at least. Uh, some silverware. I think I think that we win the Europa League, but I feel like I'm saying that too soon because I don't know. I don't know who's gonna drop from the Champions League to the Europa League. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to say that now. But I'm saying if not, I think in my opinion we're gonna win the Europa League. I hope so because we're not. Because in my opinion we're not gonna get top four. And if we're not gonna get top four, then we have to win the Europa League to get the Champions League. So that's why I think. I, that's why I just think. We have to at least win some silverware, and if it's not going to be the Premier League, because we're not, obviously not going to win it, then it has to be the Europa League, just to give us a strong chance of getting into the Champions League next season. 
Santa needs to step up, you know. He actually does because he's just been trash, man. He's trash. He's way too too high. I heard that he he might be loaned out to Roma, and I don't want that now. Now nah, there's no there's no point in it now. There's no point because if you're gonna do that now, why don't you do it before? Like, don't let him go now where you couldn't let him go before. There's there's just no there's no. I know that no teams were in from like that before. But don't, there's no point, there's no point of doing that now because you had Lukaku before, you don't have Lukaku now so you need to keep everyone, well not everyone attacking by, you need to keep everyone because our attack is trash so don't let anyone go because you can't afford to let anybody else move along attacking wise because you can't replace him unless you're about Lorente, he's a free agent whatever so yeah don't don't bother doing that unless it's someone defensive wise like Damian and <laughs> yeah so and Young so Scrap that, don't let anybody go attack him in my opinion. I don't think they will actually. So yeah, Sanchez needs to start booking up his ideas because the Sanchez we saw at Arsenal is not the one we see at United right now. So he needs, he needs to start. But I think I think he needs to play as a striker because where he plays, I feel, I feel like he's wasted that wide, you know? So yeah, hopefully, I, I really, really do pray that. I think this is the second season at United, maybe third, I, I don't know. Second and a half season at United. But I think he joined in January. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm praying that it does well. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. And if he does, then we could. So, yeah, also, Chelsea's front three. I don't know who it's going to be, you know. You've got Pulisic, Adoy, and then the striker probably will be Giroud. That is not a bad front three, you know. I feel like that's such an underrated front three. I know I've never seen Pulisic play, but Adoy, yo, Adoy is a baller. Adoy is a baller. And Giroud, Giroud is so underrated, I don't think many people um, realise how underrated that guy is. Like, he's not a goal scoring striker, but he holds a ball up and he scores badness. This guy scores badness, left, right and centre, I rate him. So, yeah, um, Chelsea, their attack is it, meh. They're, it's not, I don't think it's better than United's attack, but they have been feeling class. They've been feeling class, so Chelsea's strike force could cause a few problems. And they've got William and Pedro as well. That goal Pedro scored in preseason was sick. Pedro, the little, the little flick, the little flick goal that he scored was so good. And the William, William, yo, so many people are hating on William. I think he's pretty decent, you know. He like, like the one time he had a good season, and then like the next time he didn't do very well. Last season didn't do too well, but you know. They've got some bodies in their team, you know, and they've got some young players coming through, so I'm not I'm not gonna say anything about Chelsea you now, but I can't wait for the game. Bring it on. Yeah, those are my thoughts on the game. I apologize if it's not that, that not not great, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I might do a reaction to the game, I don't know. So yeah, I'm excited for the game. Hopefully we can get a win under our belt. First game of the season. Cannot wait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and um, I'll try and you know continue this if, if not then then don't know if, if I don't but, so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please smash the like button if you're new to channel make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow me on social media you know I do I, I post a few football stuff here and there and like football discussions and all that stuff like yeah mainly on Twitter so make sure you follow me on Twitter also follow me on Instagram if you want to as well looks will be on the screen or in the description down below. And with all that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been your boy Ty, over and out. Peace.